Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. We're on the 2021 Leave Insert Order Level Paper 2, Question 5. It's statistics. So we have a standard distribution graph. Okay, and we have we have the 95% confidence interval between these two values, 147.9 and 148.7. Well, what does this actually mean? Well, it means from the empirical rule that the two standard deviations above and below the mean, so I can write it like that, two sigma, two sigma negative on either side of the mean, okay, will give the 95% confidence interval. So we could go to mean, to mean plus or minus two standard deviations is equal to 95% confidence interval. Okay, so therefore, the difference between the two values is four standard deviations, because it's two plus two, so 178.7, subtract 147.9, and we get 30.8, divide that by 4, and we get 7.7. .7. And that's in centimeters. Okay, and the mean is the, the mean between the two values. So add them together. Okay, so the formula for the standard deviation there was four standard deviations is equal to the difference between 178.7 and 147.9. Just look at the chart. Okay, so the midpoint there is going to be the mean. So at the mean will be 147.9 plus 1. 7, 8.7 .7, all over 2 to get to halfway. And we will get 163.3 centimeters. Okay, so that's the mean height and the standard deviation, which is the variance in the group. So we have a table here for male and female heights and arm length for 20 teenagers. So if we look at these values here, you're going to use those in the next question. So we have to plot those in. So I'm going to plot a lot of those in and we're going to look at the, the output. So the first point um, for height against arm length is 168, 169. 168, 169. So that's about here. The next one is 147, 150. Out, up 147 and across 150. That's about here. 134. One two one, one three four, and one two one. That's in here. One seven seven and one seven six. One seven seven and one seven six is out here. One seven two for arm span, and one seventy. 170 is over here okay that's very close and um, let's do some more 160 and 163 160 and 163 and 152 151 up 152 out 151 that's there and 153 151 very close again 153 and 151 
left. So we could see they are reasonably close to the female um, alignment. So we want to get the correlation of coefficient here. So what is the correlation coefficient? So for instance, if the two scatter plots were very, very, very close, like a line, they'd be collinear. Well, that would be approximately equal to one. Okay, if they were really, really random, well, it would be very, very low value then for correlation, let's say 0 0.05. If it's going back, okay, like this, it would be negative. So with all that information, let's look at the at the values here. So it's either going to be the first or the second because it's not going back, it's not negative. Okay, it's not going in this direction with a negative slope. Okay, that would be a negative slope going back. So we we're it's probably 0.9 because they are very, very close. And it's definitely not 0.2. Okay, so the final part will be just an explanation of the correlation coefficient. What does it tell us between the height and the arm span of the data? So let's go back and let's look at the chart. So we can follow the line up here and we can say as the arm span increases, the height. Uh, the 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 height value also increases or we could say vice versa we could say as the height increases the arm span value increases and they correlate together so all we need to do is write that in so as the height increases the arm span increases with a definite correlation. Okay, thank you for joining Mets Plus. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.